Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. Today is day one of Blackmas, which means it is the first day of five days of Black-owned business unboxings. Today's unboxing is going to be a little bit different from the rest of them because uh, one of my items, this one right here, I actually already unboxed. I already opened it. Uh, today's unboxing is going to be from 228 Grand Street, which is a Black-owned candle company. And I already opened this one because it's balsam fir, as you can tell, which I got specifically for the holiday times and for this month. So I actually, um, I opened this one already. And I've been burning this candle all month. As you can see, I've burned it actually down uh, quite far. It's less than halfway. It smells really like, like balsam fir is like a, um, like a Christmas tree type of smell. It's like a, a, a fir is a kind of tree and it's like a really strong, like delicious Christmas tree smell. I do have a, a tree. I have a false tree in my house though, so it doesn't give off a smell. And every time I light this candle, I feel like I have that delicious, uh, Christmas tree smell in my house. It does say on here hand poured scented. These are natural soy candles that are artisanal and crafted in Baltimore, Maryland. So that's this one. I actually did film myself um, unwrapping it from the um, bubble wrap and the paper and stuff. So I will include a little quick uh, clip of that so you guys can see me unboxing it and see how it looked when it first came out. Uh, and you guys can see that really fast. But I also ordered a second candle from 228 Grand Street that is still in the box, which was this size box. And it actually, um, I did cut it, but I have not opened it yet. It came wrapped in this uh, bowl wrap. This is the bowl wrap that the other candle came in. And then it came with this uh, packing really it's basically full of this packing just I guess to make sure because these are a pretty hefty glass jars so they are recyclable when you're done with the candle you just have to fill it up with hot water and pop the wax out this is a little pro tip so that you can recycle your glass candle jars uh, I'm you, as you guys know I'm really really trying to minimize my plastic consumption and uh, trying to consume a little bit more ethically as ethically and sustainable as consumption you know it's a little bit impossible to use the same thing uh, to consume things sustainably, but we're trying our best. Um, so this is actually the second candle that I got from 228 Fur, which I've already cut some of the bubble wrap, but I have not actually opened it. This one is quite a bit larger, as you can tell. This is a 16 ounce candle. This is a small nine ounce candle. Um, and this one, I got the wild blackberry and absinthe, which was described also as kind of a festive, a unisex holiday scent. Let me go ahead and smell it. This one has a different top as well. This one has a um, like an unscrew. This one has like a a push dent, like a plug. Like if you like, yeah, one of these. So you really hefty. This is also glass. I'll probably keep this one. <laughs> I'll probably keep this. Maybe I'll keep both of these and use them for something. But these are very nice, high quality. Uh, glass containers and this one says the same thing 228 Grand Street uh, Candle Co hand poured scented natural soy artisanal made in Baltimore Maryland wild blackberry and absinthe let me smell it Ooh, this is a much more the absinthe is almost it's very spicy it's very musky it's very, it's giving me like smoky, but the blackberry notes in it are, are undercutting that. This would probably be an excellent candle for a man. Um, you guys know I don't super love sweet floral scents in my house. I prefer more unisex, unisex uh, type of scents. And if you do know someone that also prefers unisex types of scents or like for a man that doesn't like florals and things like that, this smells really good. Which, as I said, it was described as such in the um, on the website, so I got it specifically for that reason. But this smells really good. 
I think this is going to give a really nice scent in my house. This one burns beautifully. Um, it is recommended that you only, you don't burn it for longer than two to three hours at a time. So I try to be really cognizant of that because I can be bad about that and just leave my candles uh, burning and burning and burning and burning. And this one has burned really nice. Even though it's a small candle, it has a really nice, big, robust, um, you know, balsam for Christmas tree type of smell. So I'm anticipating that this one's going to do the same. I'm also anticipating that since this is a larger um, candle, it will probably burn even better and last even longer, obviously. And on the bottom, they just have some burning instructions. And mm, this one smells really good. I'm really excited about both of these. I've wanted to try this brand for a long time, and I'm going to read you guys a little bit about the brand before I go. About 228 Grant Street Candle Company. Like many small businesses, a grandmother story plays a central role in our brand's origin and ongoing inspiration. The name 228 Grand Street Candle Co. pays homage to the home of my late maternal grandparents in Danville, Virginia a home characterized by simple acts of hospitality and the sharing of things made and grown by my grandparents. Though she was not a candle maker, my grandmother was a culinary wonder, baker, canner, and gardener. Visitors never left her home without being offered something delightful that was made or grown by her or my grandfather. There was always something on the stove or in the freezer, and her front porch served as a neighborhood therapy office. Miss Clara, as she was known throughout the community, was the embodiment of light and kindness. And then the owner has a picture of his grandparents, these this amazing black couple just looking like everything, looking like the 20s, looking very flapper. Granddad got a cigar. Uh, I will include links, of course, to the website, to the about page, and to the candles. Um, and he just wrote a little bit about how he got into candle making. I came to candle making after having been on a winding road of professional life. Though I had many fulfilling roles, there was a deep longing for work that engaged more of my creativity, hands, and body, and I came to candle making out of an obsession with deeply aromatic candles. So as I said, these have a very, very strong smell, and this guy has like definitely got the hang of it. Um, and the brand mission is to create amazing and affordable candles featuring uniquely curated fragrance blends. We also seek to build, nurture, and sustain community through collective economics, collaboration, and inspiring others to follow their creative passions. And they also offer candle making workshops, uh, obviously when it's not COVID time, um, in their brick and mortar in Baltimore. And just, they're doing some really, really interesting things with this black owned business. So please uh, check out their website to see some of their candles, some of their different scent variations. They have all different sizes. These are not the only two sizes. They have a whole range of sizes and prices. And I have loved this candle thus far. Like I said, I've been burning this one all December. So I can safely say that I've really, really, really enjoyed uh, the quality of these candles. Really nice, even burn, great, amazing smell. Uh, I've been burning this one since the beginning of the month, so it's been lasting pretty well. I make sure not to burn for longer than three or four hours at a time. And I'm really looking forward to, you know, opening this one when uh, I'm kind of trying to wait until the holiday season is done to light this one up. I think this Christmas tree one is going to last me all the way through the month of December. So 228 Grant Street Candle Company, black owned and ran out of Baltimore, Maryland. So hopefully you guys are having a great holiday season. Hopefully you guys are having a great week. Uh, according to y'all, motherfuckers were supposed to get powers today. So hopefully y'all got some powers and hopefully everyone's having a good wind down as we end the year. So I will see you guys tomorrow with tomorrow's Black Owned Business Unboxing. Uh, I also wanted to show you guys this little card that I got as well before I go. They also put this card in there. And on the back they have a uh, more quick information about the, the company and the candles. Um, I just love being able to support, you know, black owned businesses and especially black American owned and organizations that really, you know, are taking the time to think about how are we going to nurture our communities and consume ethically and sustainably moving forward. I appreciate that these are soy based candles. Just really appreciate this company a lot. So see you guys tomorrow with the next black owned business unboxing. Five days of blackness. Peace.